The Battle of Palmdale is one of those historic events which could easily spawn a dozen clickbait titles. US Navy vs US Air Force, Drone vs Manned Fighter, Runaway World War II Fighter vs Rocket Armed Jet Interceptor. And none of these will be a lie. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Armourer's Bench. Earlier we looked at the F-89 Scorpion, and one of the most interesting elements of the Scorpion's history was its involvement in the Battle of Palmdale. On the 16th of August 1956, the US Naval Air Station at Point Mugu, California, launched a Grumman F-6F 5K Hellcat, a target drone for a missile test. The F-6F 5K was an adapted World War II vintage carrier-based fighter that was stripped of armament, fitted with a radio-controlled guidance system and painted bright red. As we can see from this footage of an F-6F 5K taking off, they weren't the most controllable of aircraft, and it seems that shortly after takeoff, the ground station lost control of the drone, likely due to a receiver malfunction. With the drone unresponsive and radar showing it headed towards Los Angeles, the US Air Force were asked to scramble interceptors to shoot it down. The US Air Force dispatched a pair of Northrop Scorpions from the 437th Fighter Interceptor Squadron. Using their afterburners, the Scorpions quickly caught up with the runaway drone. The F-89D was designed as an interceptor, tasked with meeting and engaging Russian bombers. They were equipped with 2.75 inch or 70mm Mark IV folding fin aerial rockets. These unguided rockets were controlled by the new Hughes E6 fire control system with an AN-APG-40 radar and an AN-APA-84 attack plotting computer. They were the cutting edge of the US Air Force's fighter technology. When the fighters came to engage the drone, the E6 fire control systems failed, and the pilots had to fire manually. With no weapon sight for manual targeting, the Scorpion pilots had to eyeball it. It would seem a relatively easy task, but flying at 30,000 feet, possibly erratically, and at perhaps 180 miles per hour, the target was difficult to engage with no gun sights, and it proved to be a difficult task. Each F-89D was equipped with 104 rockets. These could be fired in a single salvo, or in two or three separate salvos in ripples. Two ripples of 64, and then 42 rockets, or in three ripples of 42, 32, and then 30 rockets. The pilots opted for the latter. Both Scorpions made three separate runs at the runaway Hellcat drone, but none of their rockets downed the drone. Eventually, the F-6F 5K's fuel ran low, and with the engine starved of fuel, it crashed into the Californian desert near Palmdale Regional Airport. Ironically, if an earlier gun-armed scorpion like the F-89A, B or C had intercepted the runaway drone, the outcome of the so-called Battle of Palmdale would have been very different. While luckily no one on the ground was injured by the drone's crash or the rockets that missed their mark, there were some close calls and a very serious wildfire that took hundreds of firefighters several days to put out. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this look at a very unusual event in aviation history. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.